one of the questions often asked is which protein is best for fertility? There's been a huge drive of consuming more protein and to increase strength. It's linked to fertility is limited. So there's a slightly older paper. And again, diet is very difficult to investigate. And that's the reason why there are so many different opinions on diet. So this was led by experts at Harvard. It explored whether the type of protein in a woman's diet affects her risk of infertility caused by ovulation problems. So that means this study followed over 18,000 women without a history of infertility for eight years as they tried to get pregnant or became pregnant. The women completed a detailed food questionnaire and researchers tracked who developed infertility due to ovulation issues. The main findings were women who ate animal protein, especially chicken and red meat, at a higher risk of ovulatory infertility. That means not ovulating. In contrast, women who ate more vegetable protein like beans and lentils and tofu had a lower risk. This effect was st strong for women over the age of 32. The researchers calculated that by replacing just 5% of animal protein, which vegetable protein could reduce the risk of ovulatory infertility by more than 50%. This means that small changes in diet could have a big impact on fertility for some women. The study is important because infertility affects a significant proportion of couples, one in six, and understanding modifiable life risks factors may be useful, like diet, which could help many people. In fact, if you look at all the research, it's looked at overall weight, looked at BMI, looked at nutrition, and the type of protein has been looked at mainly towards strength building. But this was one of the first studies that looked at protein sources in healthy women while trying for a pregnancy. Validated questionnaires were used, which makes the results reliable. However, the study cannot prove that changing protein will definitely change fertility, only that there is an association. And that's one of the challenges when you have something as modifiable as diet, which it's very difficult to prove. Doctors, the findings suggested that the doctors and dietitians may consider recommending plant-based protein for women who are trying to achieve a pregnancy. The biological reasons are not fully understood, but animal and vegetable proteins may affect hormones and insulin sensitivity differently. Animal protein, for example, has been linked to high levels of certain hormones that could interfere with ovulation, while the vegetable protein may have a protective effect. The significant limitations to this study and the data on diet and fertility was self-reporting, and not all women were actively trying to get pregnant. Also, other factors were not measured. Despite all these limitations, the findings are promising, and it suggests that looking at your diet, re-looking at your diet, may help in reproductive health.